a new way to wake up. Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. All right, here's what you need to know today. Ben and Jan, you'll hear in Amy's update coming up at 6.50. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, nor- wow, the airport crash over in North Las Vegas. I, that was so sad. It was so sad to see. I saw it originally on Instagram, I yeah. think, on one of the Vegas things. One of the things. Vegas things, yeah. Yeah, and I then I'm like, please tell me that's like old or like what didn't really just happen and it did and it was so sad. Two single engine aircraft, they are uh, collided over the uh, airfield there at North Las Vegas Airport around noon yesterday. Four people in total passing away in the crash. Uh, two in each plane. Uh, NTSB and FAA are going to investigate. I mean, it is a clear day for, for the most part. I, you know. Something, yeah. I mean, I don't know, but... It, Awful. How does that happen? Yeah, it's Sucks. pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, well, we're, we're prog- progressively going from that's a terrible story to what could have been terrible, but actually wasn't that bad. Uh, on the strip, I was dr- actually driving on the 15, and I got a text from a friend of mine that said, my uh, my brother is on the strip right now, and I'm having trouble getting in contact with him. I think there's an active shooter. I'm like, wh- wait, what? Mm-hmm. And I'm driving past it, and I'm not seeing police everywhere, so I'm like, that can't be right. Right. Turns out it wasn't right. Saturday night, lots of kerfuffle, lots of people running away from MGM Grand. There was worries that there was an active shooter. Turns out one of those glass doors yeah. at the valet area just shattered. It happens. Somebody, did somebody break it? I don't know. I heard I, yeah, somebody... There were rocks, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But just, you know, so everyone was worried that that was something. People get up, they run. And people didn't, uh, I saw so many videos. People were like taking cover, you know, behind like the craps tables and things like that. And yeah. then running. And um, and then I, a friend of mine was down there seeing a comedy show. And she said that it, it was not handled properly for sure. Like, yeah. you know, I mean, people were getting hurt. I don't know. Is there a, a way to handle that? I'm not sure. I mean, stampedes of people. Just... I mean, well, what? In, in, where are we in this society today? Like, are you supposed to just pretend it's I not know. a thing? You know, so I know. people err on the side of bad, but luckily it was it not was nothing, yeah. bad, which yep. is good. Okay, good story. Happy story. Bighorn sheep stuck in the mud in Lake Mead. Mm-hmm. Guy named Todd, his wife Kelly, cruising around Lake Mead. They see this bighorn sheep right along the coastline in the mud. It is like thick. Ugh. I I have lost plenty of shoes there. I'm not really? like one time I was like I'm dead. I'm I'm gonna. It was like a what, what's what's the movie in the quicksand? As you wish. Somebody tell us seven zero two five nine seven one zero two seven. We're not gosh. movie people. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I thought I was going to literally die at Lake Mead. Like this is it, and I'm sinking and sinking. And they had to send like a little kid out because he was he was like the lightest. I'm like, <laughs> took my shoes, but I survived. Well, it was the same sort of uh, it was the same sort of heroics for this bighorn sheep. Yes. Todd got out of the boat, his yapping dog on the boat, screaming and uh-huh. yapping. Uh, Todd took a rope, roped up the uh, horns of the bighorn sheep, and pulled the sheep oh out. God. Sheep was exhausted after trying to struggle to get out of that for God knows how long. Right. And luckily, the uh, bighorn sheep just hopped away. We have the full video going to be on our website, Mere Moments, at 1027vgs.com. And it's- if you see Amy on the coastline, <laughs> yeah, just make sure you have, have your tow rope ready. <laughs> <laughs>